Welcome to Geek Eats TV. My name is John Calvert and today we are making Fat Head Pizza. But before I get started, please like, subscribe, and share this video. It helps me out a ton and it's really appreciated. Let's get started. So to a microwave safe bowl, we're going to add three cups of mozzarella cheese and two teaspoons of cream cheese. Then we're going to microwave that on high for one minute. Then we're going to mix that up. And if it's not melty enough, you can stick it back in the microwave. And to the melted cheese that's been combined, we're going to add one and a half cup of almond flour. And combine that. And then we're going to add in two eggs, slightly beaten. Make sure the dough is cool enough to add the eggs, otherwise you'll cook the eggs and you don't want to do that. Then we're going to place the, the dough on a parchment sheet lined cookie sheet. And then we're going to take another sheet on top and then we're going to start to push down and make it a nice thin, best of circle as you can. You might want to use a rolling pin to get it further out. Then with a the fork, we're going to just poke a bunch of holes in the crust. This will prevent it from rising. And now we're going to bake this for 8 minutes at 425 until it's nice and golden brown. Once the crust has been cooking for about 8 minutes and gets nice and brown, I take it off the parchment paper and put, the, put it on a pizza baking sheet. And then we'll add some low carb pizza sauce and get that mixed in. You can add whatever toppings you want, but I'm just going to go with just mozzarella cheese today. A lot of people put pepperoni and vegetables on there, but I'm just going with cheese. Then you're going to pop this back in the oven for another six to eight minutes until the cheese is melted. Let's keep an eye on it so you don't burn it. So there you have it folks, how to make fathead pizza at home. It's keto, it's low carb, it's delicious. Remember to like, subscribe, and share this video. I'm John Calvert, and you've been watching Geek Eats TV.